What I want to focus on is just this simple principle that applies, I think, to everybody in the room, no matter where you are in your journey. Help good entrepreneurs be better leaders, because often my experience is, as small organisations grow, those with great ideas are not necessarily best equipped to deal with that growth as they have to employ more people, and particularly at the point at which they have to employ managers to manage other people. But also, to help leaders be more entrepreneurial. The challenge of the large organisation is too often that the overwhelming bureaucracy means that it just goes through the motions and the entrepreneurial spirit that in the beginning created that organisation becomes completely dissipated. Hi there, my name is Alexandra Mosier and I'm a jewellery designer. Um, I design sculptural jewelry for people who want to take a little piece of Bermuda with them everywhere they go. And I was profoundly impacted by the, uh, the seminar this weekend. Um, hasn't, I haven't been doing a good job of, of, of explaining the bigger picture to my team. And um, throughout this weekend, I've realized that um, the enthusiasm, the energy that I have for, for the work that I do um, is the actual thing that will, will translate to our, our team and, and help them uh, give the results that we need financially um, and, and, and in terms of our customer, customer service. So thank you so much for uh, inspiring me to, uh, to really be more authentic and to, uh, to bring this you know, to my team and, and be more profitable in the end because of it. Thank you. Let's get more insight on this now, on the corporate reaction to the shootings. Joining us live from London is Chris Roebuck. He's a visiting professor of transformational leadership at the Cass Business School. Uh, great to have you once again, Chris. Uh, look, there have been, as John said, many sh school shootings, sadly, in the US. Why are corporations getting behind this effort for stricter gun control now, rather than in all of these previous incidents? I think one of the critical reasons is that those involved in this particular shooting are, uh, were at an extremely good school. They're teenagers, they're internet, social media savvy, they're able to express their own views. So they've created a PR momentum that says we want change. And if you look at the polls that are coming out in terms of the overall American population, you've got somewhere in the region of maybe 80 to 90 percent of the American population who say we need to do something about gun control. The commercial imperative is quite simple. The calculation is so basic. Look, we're a corporation. Either we can keep in with the NRA, which is five million people, so maybe 5% of the population, and we can upset 95% of the population, or we can upset 5% of the population, i.e. our consumers, and keep 95% happy. It's a no-brainer.